Ah, uh, so welcome back to another issue of Click C for Comics. I'm your boy Tone, aka T Bone, aka Pop, aka whatever. So yo, I'm doing a book review on a comic book that I recently picked up the last couple of years called Hip Hop Family Tree. If you haven't read it, you need to read it, especially if you're a hip hop head. And if you're a comic book collector, then you need to have it. And if you're a comic book collector, as well as a um, hip-hop connoisseur, love of the hip-hop culture, then definitely is a book you got to have. Now, this is not just your average review. I'm not going to get all deep into it. I'm just keep it real simple, like I'm talking to Joe Schmo, Lady Schmo on the street. Yo, boom, right? So... One thing is how I do my book reviews are very simple. If the book is fly and you need to get it, we hit it. Swip. Boom. That's how we hit you with one of these joints. Swip. You see it? You see it? That means go out and get it. Grab it. Web it up. Hem it up. Okay? And if the book is whack and it's just like wasn't really all that, and that's only from my personal opinion. Trust me when I tell you that. We give it a and you know what that is, right? Wolverine joint, snick that tear up, shred it to pieces, don't want to see it again. Goodbye. And by the way, this is my handiwork. I'm the artist, I'm the handiwork. The fonts I didn't do. I just took the fonts off um, PowerPoint, and then I just added my own little flavor, and then, you know, that's a font. Then I stapled it, and then I stuck it to these, uh, these word, um, these little word bubbles that I found. It looks like it looks like I'm saying what am I doing here? Like, woo! <laughs> I'm doing like, yeah. Okay. So remember, if the book is dope and we want it, and I recommend it. Swip, go get it, grab it, grab it up, lock it up. If it's whack, shred it. All right. Hip hop family tree. What can I tell you? Let me tell you how I ran across the book. Didn't even know the book existed. Had no clue. Knew nothing about it. I was walking, I had a little, you know, like I said, I was getting one of my urges, it was time, I needed something to read, I haven't read a comic in a while, I've been out the game for a minute, Woo! I had to flex my muscles and get my shit together, I said, well, let me go on down to Forbidden Planet, so I walked around there for like an hour, I didn't really see nothing that really caught my eye, and then I went over to, uh, what do they call it, the Strand Bookstore, and if you know the Strand in New York City, it's, it's a fly place to go for books. Um, going to the Strand, walking around the graphic novel section, and I see, I see big bold letters that say hip hop. That's it. Just caught up the corner of my eye. Hip hop. And I said, well, what's that? Hip hop. You know, I'm into hip hop. I like hip hop. Let me go see what that is. I slide over to hip hop. I pick up the book. Yo, I started getting tingly all over because I was like, yo, if this is what I think it is, wow. And this is what I find. Bam. Hip Hop Family Tree. A picture of Grandmaster Flash, the old school butter uh, sweatshirt on, Melly Mel in the background, train graffiti all over it. Looks fly. I was like, yo, I gotta have it. Pick. I, I didn't need anything else. That was it. Right on the back, can't see it too well, but it's got some artwork on the back. It's got some, it's got uh, you know Russell Simmons, some people in the park. Got the train going by with the soup, the Campbell soup cans. You got the DJ, the old look at the old old ass drawing of a mixer. <laughs> you got the record turntables right there. Hey, look at that! Look at that! Look at that! Look at that! <laughs> my brother had a mixer like that too. Oh my God! Look at that, and the, and, the, and the projects are all, you know, rocked up and cracked up. It's crazy. It's so authentic. It's ill. Check it out. Get a closer look at that. Why don't you get a close look at that? Because if you see it anywhere, pick it up. Feel that. All right. Uh, the artwork is cool because he, he kind of draws, he's kind of going off uh, Jack Kirby kind of flavorish. It's got the Jack Kirby flavor. The pages inside are like yellow, like it's an old book. It's really yellowed on purpose. And he's got the old, the old comic book style paper, not that white glossy paper. No, he got the, 
newspaper kind of newspaper. It feels like an old, this book, even though it's brand new, it's designed, it's drawn, and it's, it's, it's the style is of a book that came out maybe in 1971 and you didn't cover it properly and it got all yellowed on and everything. It's crazy. Hip Hop Family Tree, number one, right? Okay, that's number one. See it? You got it? All right. Let me show you issue number two. Takes this guy a long time to write these books. His name is Ed Pisker. E-D-P-I-S-K-O-R. Pisker. Ed Pisker. Volume 2. Check it out. Africa, Bambada on the cover. Once again, that Jack Kirby style of drawing with the fat fist coming at you. The word bubble. The space in the background. The ill spaceship. It's crazy. What's so cool about these books too, like I said, that same style of play. Look at Run DMC on the back. Crazy, right? Run DMC. Sorry you can't see it too clearly, but once I read them, I locked them up. That's how I grow. I, I ain't trying to get my joints crashed up. So here's volume two. Look at this. Look at this. Great, great artwork. Please, if you can, get your hands on it. Get it. And you can get them online everywhere. So don't worry about, don't ask me where you can get them. Strand Bookstore, Barnes & Noble, Amazon Books. If you with it, you know how to get it. Check out number three. Run DMC on the cover. Jam Master J. Rest in peace, boy. And on the side here, you got LL. Uh, Rick Rubin. Fat Boys. Houdini. Beastie Boys. Hip Hop Family Tree. Number three. And look at the years. He cover, he's covering the history of the years from 1983 to 1984. And a lot happened. And yo, the way he draws everything, he's covering hip-hop history in a way that even your kids can enjoy because it's not a book with a lot of words and, and you can't, you know, you don't feel like reading all that. Me, me personally, I read all my hip-hop books. But this is a cool, fun way for kids, for your, for your shorties, your kids to learn about hip-hop culture because now it has the look and feel of the, the and, and the drawings are really great and they're funny and they you know it's, it's covering the history it's really good all right this is the last one i picked up number four recently picked that up volume four covers 84 to 85 right you see on the cover you see the two sweethearts on the cover ah two sexy ladies right there salt and peppers here push it and on the back, got some, uh, again, some little bit of fly artwork on the back. Can't see it too well because, like I said, as soon as I get them, I lock them up. You know what I'm saying? I didn't even read this one yet, but I locked them right up. And uh, just, you know, if you haven't, you know, if you, any, like I said, if you comic book collector, get it. If you're a hip-hop culturist, get it. Get it, get it, get it. Now. If you, if, I don't know if you noticed anything about the designs of the book. Look at the flavor, the design. All right, especially up here. Look at this up here. You read those words? Fantagraphic Treasury Edition. Got the bar going across in the number. What does that remind you of? Exactly. Check this out. Okay, not this side. This side. Look at this! Look at that! Look at the similarities. This is where he got his design from: Marvel Treasury Edition Special Collector's Issue, Frantic Graphic Treasury Edition Special Collector's Issue. The number in the corner. The number in the corner. See, this is where he got the style. That's what I'm saying. My man is a love of the culture, and he's a fan of comics, so he, he combined best of both worlds. If you if you like me, you've been waiting for you've been waiting for something like this for a while. You know? Feel that. Feel that flavor. See that? Boom. Right? Isn't that great? Right? I like the way he put that together. That's fly, man, the way he did that. Alright, so um Hip Hop Family Tree, right? What did I say in the beginning? This is how we do our book reviews. I don't I ain't like trying to get too deep, like I said. So, what do we give the book? Do we give it a swip, a snip, go out and get it, shred it, put it in the garbage, 
put it in the frying pan and fry it, put it on the grill and cook it. Nope. We give this book big swip, man. Hip Hop Family Tree gets the swip, baby. It's fly. Go out and get it. Go out and hem it up. Buy it. Put it in your collection. You gotta have it. It's the swip, baby. It wins. Hip Hop Family Tree, swip. This is how we do it. We whip it. We swip it. We grab it. We hem it. We lock it down. Alright? Get this joint. It's nice. Alright? It's nice. Go get it. His name is Ed Pinsker. I'm gonna put everything you need to know down in the description box. His name is Papa Spelling. All right, that's it. I'm done. Uh, from all of us, especially those guys back there. This has been a click see for comics video. I'll be back again with something else for you later. We'll talk about it. Uh, and all I gotta say is have a good night. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. And as we always say at the end of every video, collectors, collectors assemble. Peace.